Hello guys, my name is um is Jay and Shouty here. Today I'm gonna to do another proof was on to some of the username is called Just What is this rent on called PS2002. That rent is being rock in my opinion. Anyways, let's just start the proof was. I knew that he was going to have the real apology. Anyways, the third rant is going to be on PTBF2002. Let's get this rant started. PTBF2002 is the most annoying user I can come across on YouTube. Well, that's definitely true. Because at the sick of time with Peter, he needs to get a fucking lot. We must get off the internet, which is definitely true. Most annoying user I can come across on YouTube. I used to like him back in 2019. Now I don't any. Well, I used to like, like this user named Peter when I first met him since 2021, when I was like 17 years old, when I first met him. But now I cut ties with him, what he just done, what he just did in the past. Now I don't anymore. Let me give you the reasons why I hate him. One, he has a lot of poor grammar on YouTube. Definitely true. Definitely true. Two, he fakes his apology too many times. Which is definitely true. Also, not to mention that, not to mention that Peter's be be faking his apology. Wow, what is the fake his apology he is? He has a lot of poor grammar on YouTube. Two, he fakes his apology too many times. Three, he makes a lot of false rip-off claims. Example is, he says that Hero Elementary is a ripoff of My Hero Academia and said that. That's definitely true. Also, Nasha Nisha, that he thinks that he said when he just run on, when he, he, like, here's like for example, when he just run on the, uh, Hindi stalking, he said that it's a ripoff that the High Yummy Yummy, which just shows nothing in the light. Also, besides, when High Yummy Yummy Yummies came out since 2004 when I was born, and, and Pandy Stonkins came out since 2010, not to mention that he said the Glitter Forces is a rip of the Dragon Ball Z and the Power Ranger, which there's nothing to common. Besides, Glitter Forces is, is a house for girls that are the show is for anime that are from for Netflix, and, and, and Power Rangers is that has like that has superpower they had shit different colors and dragon ball that had the fight it seems like where to call it and not only that i heard that some of the people's know that whoever made he somebody that ran on my favorite anime it's called demon slayer some some people know that they claim it that demon slayer is a rip off the bone dogs when the show is nothing in common besides the bone dogs has to say the n word Sexual and more, and it's one of the adults when it was came out in 2007 or 2005 or six something. I don't know. And and Demon Slayer was came out in 2019 on December on, on April 1st, 2019. When is the first release? And I had fight demons Cartoonito is a ripoff of Cartoon Network. Just because both shows have the same word does not mean it's a ripoff. And just because both channels have the same word doesn't mean it's a ripoff. Plus, Cartoonito is just a program block on Cartoon Network. Definitely true. Also, not to mention that, dude, Cartoonito is just a, a program for children, and Cartoon Network is for the uh for the little uh the, for the teenager for children's. is just a program block on Cartoon Network. Hopefully it gets a 24-hour preschool channel soon. Just like Nick Jr. and Disney Jr. 4. He claims he hates preschool shows, yet he likes Thomas and Friends, Clifford the Big Red Dog, Blue's Clues, Odd Squad, Wild Kratz, Cyberchase, and McGeeky. Making him a hypocrite. Brought for him, brought it to him for, for doing that shit. Also, not only that, he claims that he, he hates a national that show says like Blue's Clues and Clifford Red Dog. But he, well, not only that, when he just ran on Blue's Clues, he said the Blue's Clues much better than Dragon Ball Z. What does, what does Blue's Clues, 
What does Dragon Ball Z have to do to this brand? Nothing. Come on. Odd Squad, Wild Kratz, Cyberchase, and Magiki. Making him a hypocrite. 5. On his Christmas Yes Sunny Day No rant, he said he's not going to make any more false ripoff claims, yet he made another one. He said that Too Loud is a ripoff of the Loud House. Well, that's definitely true. Also, besides, when Too Loud is came out in 2014 by DreamWork and and the Loud House is made it for Nick Nickel only in 2016 when it's first released. Ripoff claims, yet he made another one. He said that Too Loud is a ripoff of the Loud House, making him a hypocrite again. Just because they have the word loud in the title doesn't mean it's a ripoff. Oh yeah, and by the way, Joshua, I just forgot that. By the way, Joshua, I just forgot that, buddy. Not to mention that when Peter do a commentary, I just forgot that. Because when Peter's doing a commentary, he uses like, the correction term with the spirit he's bashed opinion. He when he makes a call out videos, he thinks that he's he claims that he didn't handle his opinion, yet he just bash your opinion, which proves he's a hypocrite. He used the, the uh, correction term, which proved he's bashed opinions. If Peter plans to do a rant on the Owl House, he better not say that it's a ripoff of the Loud House, or else he will be a Brian the Phonics loving brony 1999 wannabe, although I never heard of that. Well, to be honest, well, I first met named Brony 1999 on YouTube, but I still lose on that user, in my opinion, because he takes shows way too seriously. I do for him for doing this shit because you know damn well that scouts is sexist because Peter's claiming that here's like for the example Peter's claiming that he has Ryan anime he has girls yeah he acts like him like here's like for the example Peter's become a sexist because you know why Be because I bet Peter said that how much sexist that's because you hate girls shows that's because you hate that show doesn't mean that you hate that show that make you that make you a sexist he claims he hate girls shows yeah he likes how you be on me Mikiki which I do, I know what in that show um what else selling moon and and, and selling moon making him a, a hypocrite for doing that. And he thinks that Wins Club, he thinks Peter's, he's thinking, when he ran on Wins Club, he thinks that it's for girl and for me. Prove it that Peter's being sexist. And McGeeky. Making him a hypocrite again. Seven, he sucks at doing commentaries. That's definitely true. He kept on acting like a hypocrite in some of them. Eight, when Jay Kaiser apologized to everyone, he keeps attacking him and said he exactly then exactly then even though i still hate jay kaiser but if if i just adjust if i didn't know jay kaiser i would keep ignoring him there's no reason or 24 7 i don't really don't care about jay kaiser but i sick of time when peters they keep attacking with jay kaiser when he did he was a approval behavior like Here's like for example, Peters is always to keep bullying the Jay Kaiser and not 24-7. Proving that he's a cyber bully him. Hopefully Peters definitely can get a community guideline strike called Cyber Bully Razmit. To everyone, he keeps attacking him and said he had to ignore him. By the way, he is not even a dead topic. Nine, he has been copying Brendan Barney's rant vid. Yep, that's definitely true. When I, I saw that Brandon Bar now he cuts ties with Peter, I was very happy when Pe um when I saw Brandon Bar cut ties with uh Peter. Thank fucking goodness. It's even a dead topic. Nine, he has been copying Brendan Barney's rant videos, which that means he is fucked with him. I also saw Brendan's community tab about it. Ten, he rants on way too many preschool shows. Now that's definitely true. Definite that's definitely true. Because every single time when I when I heard that people knows that he take a preschool show the not stop and he had to just ignore the preschool shows. Like, come on, it's not no hard to watch a preschool show. I mean, the only thing I like preschool shows like Blues Clues, Clifford Red Dog, Kid is George, and um what else? 
uh, Wild Cracks, um, matches your school bus and more than the, the upper part of my childhoods. He rants on way too many preschool shows nonstop, proving that he's a childhood destroyer. I saw Tolu Dada's videos on why he had to private all of his Vine videos. And yes, he called him out for that. 11. He threatened to feed dogs chocolate on his Blue's Clues rant. Which is definitely true. Definitely, definitely true. Also, you know damn well feeding the dog chocolate is, is for bad, like, it's for bad for animals. It's easier to go to jail for that. Also, you cannot do that. If you, if you feed blue, uh, the animal chocolate, that's it for poison. You cannot do it. If you did, you're going to go to jail in real life. Or worse, face the pill penalty big time. Rant, Kipper Rant, and Clifford the Big Dog Rant. Making him a Christmas Yes Sunny Day No Wannabe, even though I don't care for him. Even if he's a dead topic, so I have to just annoy him, but I still like Christmas Yes and you know, myself. Wannabe, even though I don't care for him since he is inactive since January 2021. 12. He would not stop using the more like term and the failure adventures term. Exactly. I was just sick of time with Peter. He needs to start making like the uh, like more like term and the video version term. It's very annoying. 12. He would not stop using the more like term and the failure adventures term when we tell him that both terms is getting old and overused. 13. Whenever people comments on Peter, he keeps on ignoring all people's comments which they don't give a crap. 14. He blames DreamWorks for making too loud. 15. He steals Michael the rapper offline. Where's Daphne true? Oh yeah, I just forgot that shit. Not only that, Peters is also stealing copy with this, this like Christmas yes and know what he's done. Because he also copied, like he said that the fall of the video for 2023 made possible by Peter, which that, that is a copyright. Hopefully Peter, and wow, Peter did not even give it people's credits. Wow, just fucking wow, Peter. Now you need to get now we give it people's credit. Last time, I just give it give people's credit. DreamWorks for making too loud. 15. He steals Michael the rapper off flying guy's intro and hopes he will never find out. Well, he did. And that blue haired smiling angel did told him about it. 16. When he made a rant on Thundercats Raw, at least he did not say that liking Thundercats Raw is illegal. If he did say that, I will have to do a commentary on it. Let me know in the comments below. 17. He even uses the female voice on season one of his rants. He is a boy, not a girl. See, I to tell, like, this is like why. I just told you, he just lied his agenda. He thinks that he was, he, he's, a, he's, a, he's a girl when he's not. He's a boy in real life. Season one of his rants. He is a boy, not a girl. So, he has to use a male text-to-speech voice just like me. And 18, he made a commentary on a dead topic user on February 2022. But he did delete the video after Fernando... Oh yeah, I just forgot that shit. Not only that, I... Oh yeah, I just forgot that shit. Not only that, when I heard that Peter's rant on Christmas yesterday, though, he went, he's a dead topic. And you know, and now this proves he's a show feeding right there. Not only that, I heard that Peter's like do a commentary on, on Christmas yesterday, no rant on SpongeBob, but he did deleted the full criticism in the bad flash. user on February 2022. But he did delete the video after Fernando the Emirates and ESPN guy called him out just to avoid criticism. Do you know who likes this user? Chubby Darwin Supreme. Well, Chubby Darwin, if you've seen this, Apino Hindo despised him because of what you, he just done in the past. Chubby Darwin Supreme. He made a salute on him. Well, I am fine with his opinion on him. And do you know who hates him? Sean Thevionda 2001, Lathal Tal, Sarah West, the Haruki Fujiwara Princess, Tolu Dada. Even I, I sort of just ignored Sean Selvely and Leto all the, the, the both are dead topics, so I just ignored them. 
Tal, Sarah West the Haruki Fujiwara Princess, Tolu Dada, Fernando the Emirates and ESPN Guy, Don's Random Channel, Emmanuel Barrera the Nice Guy, Marcus Acosta Films 2007, Michael the Rapper Offline Guy, Aiden Productions, and some other... Um, Joshua, no new thanks, buddy. No new thanks. But Aiden Production is not be trusted like what he just done in the past. But I'm not trying to be mean and rude here. So, yeah, because he bash opinions, raise your all caps, quote unquote, raise mode, like no reason. So, yeah. Ways, wow, that rant is awesome. Why you may ask? Because he, he inserted the valid reason why he hates that username Peter. And also, Peter, if you've seen this, don't you ever do a commentary on just what the rant on you. If you do, I'm gonna do that do a com um respawn back. Understand you fucking preschool show hater. Anyways, that's a good of the approvals. If you want to ask me a question, just let me know in the comments below. This is me signing off. Peace out.